Hi, fellow library lovers. You've received my new book, and if you've begun reading it, even if you've just looked at the title, The Invisible Library, you know I'm a lover of libraries. I love them for all the books they contain, which I've enjoyed reading. I love them because I can go to them to find both fact and fiction and that I'm looking for, and I love them because they offer us ways to discover stories we may never have known we were looking for, stories that we never realised we needed or that existed. The reason I decided to make my heroine a librarian, working for this mysterious organisation called the Invisible Library, is that I can sympathise with someone who spent their life hunting down good books. And if we can save the universe in the process, so much the better. There's just something about the image of some vast multiversal library, collecting different books from all the alternate worlds, which appeals to me on a very fundamental level. Whether it's Terry Pratchett's L Space, connecting all books and all libraries everywhere, or whether it's Neil Gaiman's Library of Dream that holds every book that was ever imagined, we can believe it's out there, somehow, somewhere, just waiting for us. I wrote about a protagonist who collects stories rather than facts, because I believe that humanity needs stories. Tales, fables, myths, legends, epics, thrillers, three-volume novels, sagas, fanfiction. Better writers than I have have gone into detail, about the importance of preserving knowledge and historical fact in libraries, and I absolutely totally agree. I just believe that it's important to preserve the fiction as well. Whether the stories are preserved on books, or as movies, or audio recordings, or DVDs, or recorded electronic data, or in some way that we haven't yet thought of. I wanted a protagonist who would go out and collect the stories, the books, and who would read them for the joy of reading a good story. And as for what makes a good story, we can get a lot of things from books, including the critical judgement to decide that we don't like them. We can read books to get insight from them about the world that we live in, the people that we are, but we can also read them for sheer pleasure, for the enjoyment factor of a good narrative, a story that will give us dreams later, and daydreams in our spare time, which will let us imagine ourselves as different people in different places, which will make us happy. There is nothing wrong with reading a book just because you enjoy it. I believe in escapist literature because it gives us new ways of thinking about ourselves, about the situations we're in. If we're thinking that we want to be somewhere else, somebody else, then that's still thinking about who we are and what we are now. In the end, escapist literature makes us imagine, it makes us think, which is always a good idea. I hope you like The Invisible Library, and if you do, you're in luck because it's the beginning of a new series. And I hope that you will tell me what you think when we chat again on Wednesday the 1st of June at 5pm ET. Thank you very much indeed.